Um, uh, the way they win um, is why I'm scared of the Eagles. They find ways to win. Okay? Um, uh, 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 by any means necessary. Uh, I, I still don't know what the identity of the Cowboys are. Okay. That is something I have been wondering. Last year, even though the offense was, you know, number one offense in the NFL, yeah, I can't understand. You know, I looked at it and said, what is it that they do? What is the thing that when all shit breaks loose, what is my bread and butter that I do? We yeah. knew that running the football with, with Emmett Smith, when he separated that shoulder, we were yeah. going to run that football with Emmett. That's our bread and butter, no matter what the hell happens. And I couldn't look at last year and say, I don't know what that was. We did a lot of things good, yeah, but we didn't do anything that was great. And I, I have to agree with you on that. I don't know what our identity is. Sometimes I think it's we're running the football, and we are really good at running it. I, I look yeah. at, I love 12 personnel, because yeah. to me, 12 personnel is not like my daddy's 12 personnel, which was just short yardage. When you have yeah. the tight ends that you have now that can catch the ball, you can kind of go, if, if the defense is putting eight in the box, I'm going to pass it. If they're not, I'm going to run it with numbers. But we seem to, with Kellen Moore, like we'll do some things that are real good, and all of a sudden we'll go away from the things that we're doing that are good. Well, you know, that, um, <laughs> that not having an idea, you know, in the 90s, if Emmett got hurt, and I came in, or Derek Lassick, or whoever, mm -hmm. we were still going to run the ball. Right. You know what I mean? We weren't going to get away from, you know, handing that ball off. Mm -hmm. um, um, we were still determined to, we were going to, you know, in, 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 you know, impress our will against against the, the opposition. Uh, mm -hmm. Because that's, that's, who, that's what our identity was. Um, but like I, you know, like I was saying, um, uh, the first four games, we are going to figure out what type of team we were going to be. The next eight, we we're going to figure out who, what our identity is going to be. You know what? I mean, what we do best, we were going to, you know, we're going to lay down the law. Mm -hmm. And um, and once we figure that thing out, there was no way you're going to stop us. And we, we were that last four games, we we're just going to stomp you. you know? And uh, I, I'm going to tell you something real quick. Um, uh, I learned in those last four games, you know, um, we needed to, uh, the goal was to, to beat the heck out of people. So uh, mm -hmm. we're playing the Jets up there, and um, uh, we, I think we went in 28 to nothing. And I'm in the game, and, and uh, we, get, we catch a punt on the five uh, going in, going out. And I'm in there, and, and I'm a little, you know, loose with the ball. And I'm coming out, and I, you know, and I, I hit the hole. And and you hit the hole. The Don't safety. leave me holding there. You hit the hole. What happened? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And the safety uh, makes me fumble. Okay. And one of their D linemen picks it up and he goes, uh -huh, I think I got you cut. You know, and so I'm trying to come off the field hiding behind Nate. And mm -hmm. I hear Jerry, uh, Jimmy Johnson mm -mm. screaming my name Coleman, Coleman, Coleman. And he gets me on the sideline, grabs my face mask. And he goes, Oh, damn. It, it muted. <laughs> Wait, it muted right when he said he, oh you grabbed his face mask. He said, Coleman, I'm putting you back in there, and if you fumble that ball again, I'm cutting your ass. You hear me? Oh, damn. Your ass. Okay? And so I go back in there, my eyes are wide open, and I'm scared <laughs> as hell, and I go back, I didn't fumble, and I go into the locker room. Oh, damn. I sit down in my locker, and, I, and, and I'm looking, and I just go, Ooh! I just start crying. Okay? <laughs> Locker room full of men. And I start oh, crying. No, no, Lincoln, you weren't in the locker room crying. Come on, man. Yes. yes, Aikman, Emmett, everybody is coming over to me, and they're like, "What the heck is going on with you?" And I'm like, <laughs> "And I'm not telling them anything. I'm just, you know, balling, you know." And so what I'm thinking of is the year before, a uh, swerving, curving Richards gets cut City, at the end of the year. He doesn't get a Super Bowl ring. Oh, you know, man. and so I'm thinking, oh, oh yeah. my God, I can't believe I just fumbled the ball, and now I'm not gonna. They're gonna cut me, and I'm, I, this is it for me. And so the next morning, I show up by six in the morning in the locker room, and oh. Michael Irvin. Oh. Me. He, he he sits down next to me. He says, "Hey, man, I got a call from uh, Jimmy about four in the morning." Mm -hmm. uh, Jimmy said, uh, "He said he said he got to cut you, and uh, oh, he's got to make an apple out of you." And I told him, um, Emmett's hurt. Um, you did this shit last year. 
and he being the turf, we gotta have we gotta have a backup or a running back that's competent, and uh, we can't just make a knee jerk you know decision like this. He said, "I saved your ass," and so don't damn, me like a dummy. And I'm just okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so, man. <laughs> I, I was. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm shitting bricks, man. And so I knew because all year. He cut someone every every Tuesday, and that was our day off. You know, so Damn. I knew that I, I could wow. feel it coming on. So you know, he, he gave her, he gave Mike a call because I was one of Mike's boys. Mm-hmm. You know, he gave Mike a call, and he uh, he let Mike know. He said, "Hey man, uh, I'm going to cut your boy." You know, and Mike, you know, saved my hide. You know, and so um, I mean that was. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't mind crying, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, Thrill Homie, shout out for the Super Jack. We won eight games running, losses three being pass happy. Eight out of 11 games we ran the ball. It's obvious we are a run first offense. We would want to be, but the problem with that is, is really Mike McCarthy is kind of like, you know, it's like being a husband. You know, we know we have to take out the trash to keep the wife happy, but we don't like to do it, yeah, right? Yeah. And that, to me, is how Mike McCarthy feels about running the football and Kellen Moore as well. Well, I was yeah. going to say Kellen Moore is like the – is like the. Oh, and th- that's my worry about getting Odell. You don't go out and get Odell with all the hype and everything else and then not say we're not going to use him, which yeah. means then where, you, where what are you taking away from on the offense to – to use that new shiny piece. I know, and we got Pollard. Pollard catches out of the the backfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got got two competent running backs. Mm -hmm. We do need to lead the way with the running game. And we got receivers that can make things happen. It just, I just don't understand, I don't know where this this, uh, uh, Odell thing comes into play, you know? Mm -hmm. But I, I do understand what what, Jer- what what Jerry is is thinking, you know, uh, a little more attention, you know, uh, uh, on the cowboy. Renee you know, Escobar you thinks you should write a book. Me. Yeah, everybody's watching me, you know, and that's, mm-hmm. that's all he cares about. Shout out to our fan Renee Escobar believes that you should be writing a book because you've got some great stories. <laughs> I was told that before, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, I'm with her. I'm thinking about, hey, if you can find me uh, someone that can help me out, I'll <laughs> <laughs> It's like, just tell me. I- I'll tell you the stories. You write it down and put it on paper. There you go. There you go. Exactly. There you go. I'll, I, I'll, 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 yeah, exactly. I'll tell you. You write it down, and we'll make it happen. Well, I, I do have something to ask because I've always wanted to know. I mean, as a fan, I'm always arguing about Emmett versus Barry. Not that, you know, I think Emmett is better, but I always tell people, that Emmett, not too many people could walk in his shoes when it came to being who he was for that team. Not, it's not just being able to put somebody in the situation and in the equation and they end up walking away with three rings. I wanted mm-hmm. to ask you, what was so special about him when he came back from that, from, from, from the, um, I guess the standoff with the team that he was able to come back in and, and, and make the impact that he always had? Emmett? is a football player, okay? Emmett um, made you believe in him. And I know a lot of people thought that Michael Irvin was the driving force with his, you know, his attitude, his his brashness, his ability to, you know, get out there and scream and do all this other crazy stuff. Emmett is the guy that, that made that, he was the guy that made that engine go. You know what I mean? All you had to do was sit back and watch Emmett uh, break up, make a, a ten-yard play, a five-yard play, uh, a play that you didn't think he was going to get two yards on. Um, his attitude on the sideline, his attitude at practice, his attitude on the street. You know what I mean? He mm-hmm. was he, he was an animal. He loved football. That's all he knew. But when we hey, we would be out talking and, and hanging out with women, and he, the only thing he talk about is, hey man, you remember that pra- in practice today? Up, and we, you know, I and, mean, and, and, and that play where I broke it, and it, I'm going, uh, we're with women right now. Well, what the hell are we doing talking about practice? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's who he was. He was a football player, you know, and and and, and uh, God love him, you know. He just, um, um, that's it was almost like that's all he knew, and he was a he was a god to me, 
you know, mm -hmm. and, and he was, you know, we were the same age.